pain is temporary. I will never let anything or anyone define me. I am me. I have no title to my name. Anything I want to do, no matter what it is, I will make happen. All my dreams will come true. Meanie Dot Harris. What's good, YouTube? Who is it? Oh, my way, way, way. Wait, 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 wait. Who is it? What they say? Shh, because I ain't hear none of that. None of that. Okay, so this video, I'm going to be talking about a sensitive subject. If you know, you already know. Look at the title above. Okay? This is a very sensitive subject. This is something that I have experienced all throughout my lifestyle. I've had close friends take this action. I've had family members. I've had, you know, family member friends take this action. So this is a very sensitive subject. And I just want to get into it of of letting you know that, you know, things will get better, okay? And it's okay to talk to people about whatever you may be going through. Find somebody you can talk to or find another outlet. There is a different way, okay? I just want you all to know that it's a different way. You don't have to commit suicide to feel like you have. that's the only route you have. It's not the only route you have. And I'm here to tell you that it's not the only route you have. We all have experienced those feelings at least once in our lifetime. And I can say personally that I have, you know, I've actually thought about it once before and, you know, never took action on it, but I thought about it once before. And I'm, I'm just here. I just want to expand on that situation, let you know that you're not alone. Okay there's there's you can reach out to whoever you want whoever you trust and if you feel like you have nobody you have him 24 7. you have him 24 7 and there's there's hotlines you can call um for suicide prevention and everything and i just want to let y'all know especially youth especially my community is very normal in my community from feeling abandoned, feeling like you're not accepted, feeling like no one loves you for you because of the lifestyle you have chosen. And I'm here to tell you that as long as you learn to accept yourself, accept yourself first before anybody else can accept you, okay? Accept yourself first. And I know it's hard for us as individuals because the acceptance from our family members matter the most. And when you're getting abused and you're getting you know, verbally abused about the decision that you chose the outcome with. That's a hard situation. It really is. And and is there's no way, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. There's no way that where I can expand and say, well, do this or do that or do this or do that. Because all situations are different, you know. And me personally, I've never experienced that. You know, I've had, um, I've been accepted you know, with, within my family. And there's, there's moments where I felt, what's the word? Separated. There's moments where I felt separated. There's moments where I felt judged. But as long as you know who you are, as long as you know who you are and you're comfortable with who you are, don't let, I don't care if it's family. I don't care who it is. Don't let nobody words, don't let nobody actions make you feel less than who you are, Okay. Don't let nobody make you feel less than who you are because you're still a human being regardless of what you choose to do or who you choose to love. You are loved out here by somebody. Somebody. Remember that. Somebody. None of that matters. And if they're judging you from the decisions you partake, you partake within your life, they have a problem on their own. And that's what they have to figure out. Love yourself. And don't let nobody tell you how to live your life or who to love while you're living or none of that. Do what makes you happy because your happiness matters. Okay. Because what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, you know, I know, I know like, for instance, maybe your mother, maybe your father, 
maybe your uncle, maybe your aunt, maybe your grandmother, maybe your grandfather. And sometimes with the older generation, it's not really with them not loving you. It's more of them not knowing how to adapt to change. Generations are starting to change and more, more, our community is becoming more open and coming more fluid and coming more of a norm. And people have to accept that. And the older generation, they're not used to it. So when they see it, they don't know how to react to it. And that's just, that's just a part of life. You know, we'll, we'll get something, you know, something new comes up and we're like, oh my God, I don't know how to, how to handle this or how to respond to it or what to say or what to do. Now, where it comes to the bad part is when, when that change comes and, you know, you, you tell your people that, you know, I like girls or I like guys or whatever the, the instance may be. And they start to get disrespectful from you. That's when you got to know as an individual of what actions to take, okay? LGBT, we're a strong community. And sometimes we get stuck in situations because you're young. You have nowhere else to go. You have nothing else to do. You, you can't just up and leave. So you have to deal with it. And it gets hard. Like it really, it really gets hard. And I know it gets hard because I have people who, who talk to me about these particular situations and how they had to get out of it and how they've been verbally abused or even physically abused. Reach out to me. Okay. If you are one of them individuals, reach out to me. I'll do anything I can to help you get out of that situation. I will talk to you. I'm here for you to just vent to. Just know suicide. Suicide is not the route. That's not the only route you have. And don't think that's the only option you have. You don't. Okay. And for anybody, not just LGBT, but anybody who's going through particular situations and times may be hard. And I know I like to joke a lot of times, but this is, this is, I'm really serious in this video. This is a serious matter. It's one of the, one of the top issues in the United States. And I just want to let people know, whoever may watch this video, any of my subscribers, any of my supporters, anybody that I'm here for you. Just reach out, shoot me a text, shoot me a DM, message me, comment. Everything is private, okay? Everything is private. Just just come talk to me. Even if you want a phone call, I'm here. Pick up the phone, call me, okay? That's what I want y'all to know. My camera's sliding a little bit. But yeah, I'm here for y'all and There's another way to go, okay? I love y'all, and if you feel like nobody loves you, Nene Die Harris loves you to the fullest. I love everybody. No judge, zone. No judge, zone. Hey, they know better. They know better. Let me stop, because y'all know I can't sing, boy. No, I can't sing, boy. Anyways, hit me up. Let me know if you need me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank y'all for, for y'all support once again. And stay tuned for the next video because I will be doing a motivational speech for one of the college courses here on campus. So stay tuned for that next video, though. I'm out.